In this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate how you can use coordinate systems that are relative to construction planes. But first of all, let's talk about what a coordinate system is. Well, by default, one CNC is going to use the world coordinate system, and that consists of our x-axis, our y-axis, our z-axis, and our x0, y0, z0 that's right here. So for example, if I quickly come up here and select arc, and we're going to place that at x.25, and how about a y distance of 0.25, and if I click OK to that, that circle is being created relative to the default world coordinate system at x.25, y.25. I'm going to undo that by hitting Control z on the keyboard. That's just a quick shortcut for undo. And let's take a look now at using a coordinate system relative to a construction plane. Let's say that I need to create two holes on this surface right here, and these holes are going to be relative to this vertice or this point on the solid model. Well, the first thing we need to do is create a construction plane. So let's head down here to our construction plane tools, and I'm going to use this option right here that it provides the ability to quickly create a construction plane through three points. The first point you designate, that's going to be your x0, y0, z0. Second point you digitize defines the x positive direction or the x axis. And the third point you digitize defines the y positive or the y axis. All that looks great. Now the only thing we need to do now is tell one CNC to use that coordinate system. Come down here to your construction plane tools and simply select this option called use plane coordinate system. Once you do that, you're going to see your little axis gnome. Now, these different colors represent different axes. Just remember RGB, XYZ. Red represents X, green represents Y, and blue represents the Z axis. Okay, now that that's active, we can create our new holes relative to this new construction plane. Let's go into our circle command. I'll use the same diameter at 0 0.0625. For Z, we want to make that 0. For the x value, let's type in 0.75 for that. And for the y value, let's type in 0.2. That looks good, so I'm going to click OK to that. Let's make one more circle. Let's change the x value to 1 inch. I'm going to leave the y value at 0.2. Let's change the z back to 0 there. We'll click OK. Right hand mouse click, and there we go. Now these two circles were created relative to the current construction plane. We could take it a step further if we wanted to. For example, we could go into our extrude cut. Maybe we can cut those, how about minus 250 thousandths into the solid model. Very, very simple to do. And then right hand mouse click when we're done. Now, if you want to go back to using the world coordinate system, just change your construction plane back to the XY default plane and uncheck this option here called Use Plane Coordinate System. Click Close, and there you go. Now, just as an added shortcut, if you want to, just by coming down here to the lower right-hand corner where it says World, if you left-hand mouse click that, it'll change to Plane, which is now going to use the current construction plane coordinate system, or if I left click it one more time, it's going to use the default world coordinate system. Very efficient and a very easy workflow into using coordinate systems relative to construction planes. Well, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.